Hey guys, welcome to Code Decode. So in this video, we are going to cover another interview question on data structure and algorithm. And in this video, we have picked question number 977 of Lead Code, that is square of a sorted array. So what this question is all about? So let's see. So we have given an integer array and it is sorted in an increasing order. And we have to return an array of the square of each number sorted in the same increasing order. So this question seems to be very easy and you might be wondering that why we are covering this question. So this question is very easy, but there is little catch about it. So let's see. So let's suppose if we have given an integer array as one, two, three, four, and five. And if I will tell you that you have to uh, return an array of square of all these numbers. So what will you do? You will do the square of this number as one, four, nine, 16, and 25. And you will return this array. Right? Very easy, right? What if I tell you that you have to do the square of these numbers? Minus 4, minus 1, 0, 3, and 10. This array is also in the sorted order. And But if you will do the square of these numbers, so the number will look like this. 16, 1, 0, 9, and 100. This is not in sorted order. So what will you do? So we are going to solve this question using the two approach. The first one is the brute force and second one with the two pointer. So in the brute force, uh, I'm not going to emphasize more on the brute force because I know you all will be able to solve it. I am more uh, emphasizing toward the two pointers because this is what the interval will be expecting from you. Why? Because the brute force will take the time complexity of O of N square and the time complexity of two pointers will be O of N. So how we can do this? Let's jump into the code and let's see the brute force approach first. Hey guys, there's a super amazing app called this Next Level recently launched by an academy for you. Next Level is gamified coding competition platform for you to showcase your expertise and skills and get professional ratings. The better is a professional rating, the better is your job opportunities. Yes, this is the application where you will have job opportunities out there for you, waiting for you. This app is now available on iOS as well. The playing time is also increased from 10 a.m. to 10 p.m. when you can play with your opponents. Also, they have amazing prizes for rank 1, they have MacBook Air, rank 2, they have iPad mini, rank 3 for Kindle white paper and also top 25 people have the certificate of appreciation. These are winners from the last season for both backend and frontend development. They all received Apple and Kindle goodies along with interviews for the awesome companies. There are many coding competitions on the application. All you need to do is participate in these coding competitions. We are also providing the invite code in the description below. Please use that while signing up for the application. Compete with the people win the coding rounds the more you win the better is your rating the better is your rating the more is the job opportunities unlocked for you yes they have multiple partners across the multiple domains like in it services like hcl ecs infosys sap labs and many more at next level even the physically disabled candidates can apply for node.js and python positions you can invite your friends and challenge them to coding competitions february season has already started so please participate the best part is the app is completely free and the link to download the same is given in the description below with the code reference also do not forget to refer to your friends so i have already written the code for brute force approach and uh, let me just iterate through the code so first we are, what we are doing is we are iterating through the array from 0 to length minus 1 and what we are doing is we are just uh, squaring each of the number and and saving it on the same index so on the first time like we are going to get the number something like this 16 1 0 9 and 100 and on the second part, what I have done is I have using the bubble sort and using that bubble sort I have sorted this array and in the at the end i'm printing this array so in this video i'm not going to cover what bubble sort is all about if you want us to cover a set like if you want us to cover uh, all kind of sorting techniques so please let us know in the comment section we will create a separate video on all the sorting techniques like bubble sort merge sort uh, insertion sort okay so let's quickly debug this method and uh, after that we will jump to two pointer which is the main which is the main thing in this video so as you can see, we have integer arrays minus four, minus one, three and 10. So if I will debug this, so as you can clearly see, we have received array. So as you can clearly see, we have received the square of all this element. Now, what we are going to do is we are going to sort this all, uh, array using the bubble sort.
okay so now this array is sorted in the increasing order and if we're going to print this array so as you can clearly see we have got the desired output but this approach would contain a time complexity of o of n square and interval will might not be happy with this and he or she will tell you that you have to reduce the time complexity from o of n square to o of n so how we can do this we will be going to use the two pointers approach and uh, with the use of two pointer we can reduce the time complexity of o of n square to o of n so let's see how we can do it so now let's jump into the two pointers approach so uh, how will you, how will we develop the intuition of solving this problem using the two pointers so as you can clearly see this array is in the sorted form it's in the increasing order and uh, like if you will clearly observe this array you can clearly see that the highest element of this array is 10 but uh, what if if we will do the square of this all this element so will still the 10 will be the highest element mm, i don't think so because if you will do the square of this element so you can clearly see the answer would be 121 109 and 100 so now this is no more the highest element this is the highest element so what we are going to do to solve this problem we are going to compare the absolute values of the first index and the last index so in order to do this we are going to take two pointers the first will be on the first index and the second will be on the last index and we are going to name this pointer as low and high so low will point to zero and high will point to length minus one we are also going to take one result array because we can't manipulate the existing array as we are as we have to compare all of this value so we will what we are going to do is we are going to compare this absolute value and we are going to store these values in this array there is one more catch um if you want to like what we are going to do in this problem is we are going to traverse this array from last to zero why we are doing this because we know that if we will compare both of this element we are going to get the highest element and as this array is in increasing order so highest element will be at, will be at the last so that is the reason why we are uh, going to iterate this array from last so let's compare the absolute value of first and last index so if we will compare the absolute value of 11 and 10 so it is clearly suggesting that the 11 is highest and we are going to store 1 2 1 at the last now what we are going to do is we are going to shift this low pointer from minus 11 to minus 1 and uh, we are just going to increment this pointer now our low is at uh, minus 1 and our high is at 10 so what we are going to do is we are going to compare 1 and 10 listen to me very carefully we are going to compare the absolute values so we are going to compare 1 and 10 so clearly so this is the one the square of 10 is highest so we are going to store 100 and now we are going to decrement this high pointer and we are going to shift it to 3 now we are going to compare 3 and 1 so in 3 and 1 it is clearly suggesting that the 3 is highest so we are going to store this square of 3 as 9 and we will decrement the high pointer now we are going to compare 1 and 0 and you can clearly see the square of 1 is obviously highest from the 0 so we are going to store 1 here and 0 here so now as you can clearly see our resultant array is in the sorted form and in the single iteration we are able to achieve our desired output that is the reason why the complexity would be o of n though we have the space complexity of o of n because we are using an additional array so that is the reason so now let's jump into the code and see how we can do this okay so i have already written code over here and as i have shown you in the example um, we have taken one result array we have taken two pointers that is the low at zero and high at minus one and we are iterating array in reverse direction that is from length minus one to zero and we are comparing the absolute values of low pointer and high pointer if the values at low pointer are greater than the high pointer so what we are doing is we are storing the value at the last position and we are incrementing the low pointer if the value of low pointer is less than the high pointer then we are doing the same thing we are storing the value at the last index 
and we are decrementing the high pointer. So we have an array minus four minus one zero three ten. So let's debug this and let's see how the result array will look like at the end. So as you can see on the first iteration, we have stored hundred because if you will compare ten and minus four, so ten is greater. So we have stored the square of ten. In the second iteration, we have compared three and minus four. Four is greater than three, and we have stored the sixteen at second last index. And we have also incremented the low pointer. So if you will clearly see, the low is at one and the high is at three. Now in this iteration, we have compared one and three. So three is clearly greater than one. So we have stored nine. And now we have stored one and zero. So in this way. we have got the desired out so that's all about this video and if you want us to cover more videos on data structure and algorithm and if you want us to cover the medium level and hard level problems of lead code as well please let us know in the comment section we'll going to create a videos on that till then bye bye